So what we're showing off today is our Pikes Peak TTS, which we've nicknamed Shelly, and it's an autonomous racing car. So this is a car that can drive itself at the very limits of the physical capabilities. Shelly is able to, to drive herself around a track, and what she does is to calculate exactly the right point to break into a curve, how fast to go around the curve, and then gets on the throttle to accelerate out of the curve and onto the straightaways. We're doing a, a variety of testing just to get a number of miles of road tests so we can see how much variation there is in running the same turn. As you go into a curve as a race car driver, you want to brake at the very last possible moment. You want to carry as much speed around that corner as you can. And then what you want to do is steer so that you're using all of the friction in cornering. And as soon as you uh, have freed up some friction by beginning to steer out, you want to get on the throttle and accelerate again. We've looked a lot at the physics of racing, and that's one of the things that we study in, in my lab, vehicle dynamics, and, and how we can describe these things with, with equations and, and with actual physics. You see we have a variety of equipment back here. Really what you see is, is what's different about the vehicle. The rest is, is very stock. That's Shelly's brain right there in that box. There's actually less computing power in here than probably you have in your laptop or maybe even your, your cell phone. These are the GPS antennas that we use on Shelly. They tell us, first of all, the vehicle position, but you'll notice that we have two of them. And that's important because we can use the two of them to tell us what direction we're pointing. So Shelly has a digital map on board, and that's the basis for understanding what's coming up ahead, what sort of speed can be taken around curves, when to start braking. All of these decisions are, are being made continuously. Pikes Peak is the site of a very famous hill climb, which first took place in 1916, and I believe has been held about every year since then. Uh, and it's a 12.4 mile stretch of fairly twisty road that alternates between pavement and dirt road uh, with sheer drops uh, at various points. So we think this is really the ultimate test of a car that can drive at the limits on a variety of surfaces and, and needs to be extremely safe in the process. What we believe is that if we can learn how to do that in an autonomous fashion, we can create safety systems that will use every single bit of friction to help the driver get around the curve or avoid accidents in critical situations. Uh, in the long term, uh, there may be more moves towards fully autonomous driving if all of this stuff can be done as safely and reliably as required. It's awesome. It's, it's a tremendous amount of fun. Uh, we, we have car geeks and uh, math geeks, and it's, it's a beautiful intersection uh, sort of between people who loved uh, auto shop and people who loved calculus. <laughs>